on to my other property in Sheffield. Now, Sheffield has probably been one of my most solid portfolio properties in my buy to let property portfolio. I've had it since 2019 and it has just been solid, right? It's like the Gary Neville of your property portfolio. It's always giving you a solid seven sometimes an eight, but usually seven out of 10 performance. It never dips. With the exception of one tenant over the years, uh, my tenants have stayed there for long periods of time and just paid without any issues whatsoever. Um, I negotiated 5,000 pounds off of the price when I bought it. So that was some instant equity there. And there's never any issues, like barely had any repairs on it. Um, really, I mean, I want to keep, it's really been really good to me. But what's made it an even more star performer, what's moved it up from a Gary Neville to like a Cafu, okay, nine out of 10, is that over those five years, the value of the property has gone up. And now I'm in a position where I can release some equity from this property, 22,000 pounds to be exact. And this is the magic of property investing, okay? This is how you can buy additional buy to let properties for free, literally for free over time. You're literally just sitting back because the value of your property portfolio or properties are going up over time. You release equity, then you reinvest that money, okay? And if you wanna see more about how that actually works over time, watch this video here. It's a and a video and in it I talk about how, with numbers, real life numbers, how equity release works, how you remortgage and how that money goes into your pocket tax free and how you can do other stuff with it. So watch that video. Um, really helpful to understand the process, okay? So you don't have to actually save for a deposit every single time you buy a new property. This is the magic of property investing. I've said this for a while, but the hardest part of property investing is getting your first one, because you have to grind for that. You have to save, scrimp every single penny, and it takes a while, but you have to be self-discipline, defer your gratification, all of that to get your first one. But once you've got a couple in your portfolio and then you know four or five years down the line and the value starts going up, you can start to release equity and you don't have to go through the process of saving to buy more properties. Or of course you can do other things with the money. You know, you might wanna go on holiday, anything really. Whatever you wanna do with the money, it's your money at the end of the day. So the big caveat guys is that there's a big big reason why I emphasize the importance of research. Always, always, always research, research, research. I'm always bringing out my spreadsheets. I'm always taking you through the process of researching areas. Why? Because it's a difference literally between having an extra 22K in your pocket four years later, five years later from doing absolutely nothing and not. Your research is going to get you to buy in an area that's growing with great fundamentals. And if you make those kinds of decisions, if you get the right area, you're gonna be able to release equity further down the line, okay? And increase your wealth and do more stuff with it. So you wanna buy in areas of sustained growth or with growth potential. And of course you're dependent on the economy and the housing market doing what it's supposed to. But the trends tell us over time, right, that the property market, well over the last 15 years at least and beyond, but I'm gonna focus on the last 15 years, it's growing by 6% per year on average. So if that's just the average by the way if you're buying in an area with good fundamentals that's in line with the average uk property price growth you will be able to do the same and release tens of thousands of pounds over time and what am i going to do with this money i'm going to reinvest it into more properties and grow my portfolio and over time it's just going to snowball and that's how it works guys in practice thank you for watching this year i'm making a video every month to answer any questions that you have for me. So whether you want to know whether you should invest in a limited company or in your own name, whether you should buy a flat or a house, what is the best way to get started in property or who my barber is? Just let me know. You can ask me in the comment section below on Instagram, on TikTok, and I'll make a video dedicated to your questions. Like and subscribe and thanks for watching.